John Locke. Now, we've already looked at Hobbes, we've looked at, um, you know, before that we looked at Machiavelli, and we've examined the turn, as it were, towards uh, modern political philosophy. But nobody encapsulates modern political philosophy, in my opinion, or in at least mainstream ideas about governance and uh, society as much as uh, John Locke, who is a 17th century political philosopher, also considered just generally a philosopher of empiricism and also considered sometimes, you know, to have written on political economy, that is on economics. He lived from 1632 to 1704 um, and in uh, relation to Thomas Hobbes, uh, his writing sort of, uh, his writings influence and are influenced in turn by the glorious revolution of 1688. What that glorious revolution of 1688 was, uh, was that um, in 1648, the parliament had overthrown the king. The son of the king came back and overthrew the parliament. And then finally, in 1688, the House of Commons and the Royalists came to an agreement and said, And that's how England got its constitutional monarchy which is basically that it has a constitution, but it also has a monarchy, and everybody's always going crazy about Prince Williams. William? What's his name? He's a Hollywood actress. What's his name? Sorry? Prince? Harry. 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 So everybody in England is crazy about, they treat their royalty much like we treat Imran Khan. He can, they can do no evil. Um, we lack a royalty, that's why you know, we had to construct one. Um, anyway, so it is the glorious revolution of 1688, which brought together the parliament as well as uh, the royalty into an arrangement whereby the royalty would also remain and Parliament would also remain. And the real theorist of that glorious revolution is this man here, John Locke. Now, as I've already told you, he's a philosopher, he's also a physician, and if there's anyone that can be considered the father of modern liberalism or classical liberalism, it would be John Locke, which is why, of course, I said that he is really the fountainhead of Desi libtards. Sorry, I shouldn't use that term. Uh, uh, Desi liberals. Um, he is also the father of British empiricism, empiricism being the idea in philosophy that everything that we know, we know from our, uh, from our uh, experience, from our senses. Uh, one, he is one of the most influential of the Enlightenment thinkers, um, and of course his social contract theory is the social contract theory that we today accept to be, um, uh, you know, uh, sort of the main sort of school of thought. Uh, but he's also very much um, known for his writings on philosophy, that is epistemology, the theory of knowledge, on economics and on political philosophy. He in turn has influenced incredibly influential people like Voltaire, like Rousseau, and also the Scottish Enlightenment. And you might even be surprised to discover that he had a very big influence on the American revolutionaries and in fact on the writing of the US Declaration of Independence. For Locke, as opposed to Hobbes, if you remember from Hobbes, the state of nature was one that was nasty, brutish, and it was short. It was a situation, it was a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It was a situ situation where there was war of all against all. But for John Locke, this is not the case. He says, if you remove the state, but when you talk about adults, if you leave the room and you have a group of adults, they are not going to start you know, hitting each other with things and start doing you know, silly things like that. They know how to conduct themselves. Why is it that in the state of nature, we don't start killing each other, we don't start slitting each other's throats, we don't start coming into a war of all against all. He says because we are governed, even when we are not governed by a law that is created by the state, by a legal juridical law, we are nonetheless governed by a law of nature. And that law of nature is that no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty or possessions, because all men desire mutual love. They want to be loved and they want to love in turn 
he's a bit of a touchy, feely, lovey, dovey, tree hugging, liberal. So he thinks all men desire love. And uh, yeah, but yes, but sometimes conflict can occur. But uh, do you remember this movie called uh, what was the, uh, this movie called uh, Fight Club? Has anybody seen Fight Club? Okay, so in Fight Club, this guy goes absolutely crazy and he starts imagining himself uh, as this big fighter and this really sexy sort of dude. Uh, you know, that's basically bad. He begins to imagine himself as Brad Pitt. And um, then he puts together a team of people and he says to them, what I want you to do is I want you to go and pick a fight with anybody just for any reason. So, a person who is giving water to his एक बंदा सांस से गुजरता है उसके ऊपर पानी गिरा देता है जानबूझ के पानी गिरा देता है क्यों ताकि उसके साथ लड़ाई शुरू हो जाए एक बंदा कॉफी लेके जा रहा था उसकी कॉफी गिरा देता है क्यों ताकि लड़ाई शुरू हो जाए एंड ही सेज टू हिज हिज पीयर्स ही सेज टू हिज फॉलोअर्स के यू विल सून डिस्कवर दैट एक्चुअली मैन इज क्वाइट रिस्क अवर्स एंड दे विल नॉट फाइट इन फैक्ट यू विल बी शॉक टू डिस्कवर दैट यू नो शायद दे मे सॉर्ट ऑफ बुरा भला मुंह से आपको कहेंगे बट दे it will take a lot for you to actually begin a fight why because fights are risky uh, and you can get hurt in a fight very easily and uh, people don't want to take risk in fact people don't want to get into a situation where they encounter pain or they can potentially encounter pain yes main yahi aage joke marne ja raha tha ki fight club if it was made in pakistan would have had a very different ending but be that as it may um, i think the point nonetheless may be valid maybe we are super hyped up to fight because you know if you've been driving through traffic and traffic is terrible uske baad waisi aapka para chada hota hai koi aake aapko yun guri bhi karata aap kehte hain bas sari jo zindagi ki frustration hai is bande pe maine kusoon maar ke nikalni hai so you know uh, so maybe it's the case that we're already quite revved up because of the situation but if that were not the situation if we had really existed in a state of nature where things were relatively calm we lived with nature we lived in nature um it was not necessary that we would we would we would just break out and start fighting like crazy and i think uh, one of the presentations on thomas hobbes also pointed out that look societies if you if you look at anthropology you look at history you know that societies have existed without the state and it's not that they started fighting and killing each other for instance the american indians the red indians they didn't have a state as such right they didn't have you know a government or a state in the in the sense that we think of the state today um and yet it's not the case that the red indians were constantly sit, slitting each other's throats the aborigines of australia we know about they didn't have a state they were not slitting each other's throats we know about the tribes that have existed in balochistan and in far away places in interior sind and khyber pakhtunkhwa and so on and so forth where there is no presence of the state at all and yet they are not slitting each other's throats we know also of uh, you know african tribes shaka zulu and ex- so many other great african tribes that ex- well shaka zulu was more or less a state but we know of many african tribes that existed without a state and they lived pretty much peacefully it's not the case that they every tribe that existed without a state was fighting each other and then there is also the the paradox that if we rock, if we are inevitably going to fight each other without a state then how did the state come about the argument that the state comes up about out of self preservation seems a bit weak since why wouldn't self preservation then just get people not to kill each other in the state of nature right if self preservation is the only issue then they should just stop killing each other like john locke says so locke continues the offender declares himself to live by another rule than that of common reason and equity and so becomes dangerous to mankind so it's not the case that people will not fight each other there may be some people who offend the law of nature and say okay oh i'm going to take this and i'm going to take that and i'm going to you know uh, 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 uh declare war on my fellow man etc or mai usse chhin lunga flani cheez so it may be the case that some people in even in the state of nature may break the law of nature but by doing so they automatically put themselves up in opposition to everybody else uh, and also to common reason and equity so uh that therefore means that by violating the law of nature the law of equity the law of this this uh, common reason uh they in fact give society the right to punish those who violate the law of nature if i if we all lived without a state 
and I stole something that belonged to you or I did you some wrong and then you said sir has done me wrong he took something of mine that ought to have belonged to me uh, you know or he I was walking down the this you know the the corridor and slur, sir came along and patah, slapped me on the back of my head for no rhyme or reason well what would all of you say well you probably go deaf and bad mouth me first and foremost um, but aside from that you'd all say you know what uh, sir has done you wrong you have the right and we all have the right now to punish sir for his transgression mainly by going on LDF and saying bad things about him um, so what that means is that when somebody breaks the law of nature he or she gives society the right therefore to punish them and this thing happens these things happen normally even in tribal society where there is no state you have a tribe or in hunter gatherer pastoralist societies where one person is seen to violate the law to sare milke usko kehte hain ye tune bada galat kiya hai badi buri harkat ki hai it even happens in groups of friends right i mean agar aap sare yahan pe baithe hain aur kisi ne koi badi buri harkat ki to sare usse kahenge ki yaar ye tune bahut hi ghatiya kism ki harkat ki hai aise to karna nahi chahiye tha wagaira wagaira right um and you see that you don't need the state you don't need the policeman to come and tell you that says john lock so where the law of nature is violated lock says a common injury is done and the individual or individuals who have been damaged as the right to have the right to seek reparations for him that has done it so uske paas ye haq ho jata hai ke bhai mere sath zyadati hui hai ab mere sath jo zyadati ki gayi hai wo puri ki jaye passionate heat or boundless extravagance against a criminal instead of common reason and proportionate punishment to transgression however also become possible so it may be the case ke aapne koi choti moti buri harkat ki ho aur uh, magar uh, uh, jab aapke khilaf uh, uh, ho sakta hai ke aap koi famous personality ho ya infamous personality ho aur uh, jab aapne koi aisi harkat ki ho jo ke nazeba harkat ho to aapko punish karne wale bahut sare log ho और ये भी मुमकिन है कि एक बंदे को ज़्यादा पनिशमेंट मिल जाए दूसरे बंदे को कम पनिशमेंट मिल जाए एक बंदे को छोटी सी सज़ा के लिए इतनी बड़ी छोटी सी गुनाह के लिए इतनी बड़ी सज़ा मिल जाए दूसरे बंदे को एक बहुत बड़े गुनाह की को सज़ा ही ना मिले दस एवरी मैन इन द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर हैज़ द पावर टू किल अ मर्डर बोथ फॉर डेफरेंस एज वेल एज फॉर सिक्योरिटी द लॉ ऑफ नेचर अलाउज इट कि इफ आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड कमिट मर्डर अगेंस्ट यू you have the right to stop me from committing murder but there is a problem in the state of nature and that problem is let no man be a judge in his own case please write that down it's a beautiful phrase and it's the crux of why um, john lock thinks um, state of nature doesn't work he says it is unreasonable for men and we can extend this to women as well to be judges in their own cases that self love will make men partial to themselves and to their friends i love myself an injury to me always feels like an injury that is far more exaggerated than an injury to somebody that i don't know or an injury to one of my friends or my wife or somebody i love or my children will seem to me to be far more it will hurt me emotionally and it will seem to be very very big for me or mera dil chahega ki isko to main chhod do iska to main ki la tum ma kar do puri tarah se right agar mujhe hi ye हक मिल जाए कि मैंने ही दूसरे की सज़ा मुकर करनी है और किसी ने लेट से जारा को आई मीन चपेड़ करा दी या बदतमीजी कर दी तो मैं तो कहूँगा इसका हाथ ही काट दो मैं कहूँगा इसको फांसी चढ़ा दो क्योंकि मुझे अपनी बेटी से इतना प्यार है तो मैं कहूँगा कि इस बंदे को माफ़ी नहीं करना एंड हो सकता है कि आई एम वेरी वेरी यू नो जुडिशियस एंड ऐसे नहीं नहीं इसकी इतनी सजा बनती है इसको भी एक चंड करा दो मगर लाइकलीहुड यही है कि जब मैं अपने केस में कोई फैसला करूँगा तो मैं चाहूँगा कि अगले को सख्त से सख्त कड़ी से कड़ी सज़ा जो है वो सुनाई जाए और अगर कोई ऐसा बंदा हो जिसका जिसके बारे में मुझे कोई परवाह नहीं तो मैं कहूँगा आई डोंट रियली केयर एंड ऑन दी अदर साइड दैट इज नेचर पैशन एंड रिवेंज विल कैरी दैम टू to you know extremes punishing others and hence nothing but confusion and disorder will follow and that therefore god had suddenly appointed government to restrain the partiality and violence of men so self love means that you should not be a judge in your own case or you should not be a judge in the case of your friends because uh, you are liable to to punish that person far greater than than that person deserves 
This kind of stuff can happen on social media, for example. On social media, agar aapne kisi dusre ko koi bura bhala kaha hai, or ya usne aapko bura bhala kaha hai, or aapke social media pe bahut sare dost ya rahe hain, you're a popular person on social media, jab aap usko attack karte ho, to like bees, all your friends come around, or phir wo uski wo social media hazing karte hain, ke jiski hadis aap koi nahi. I mean, but you know, PTI wale or Muslim League wale to apni siyasati puri is tarah kar rahe hain, ke matlab tu patwari or tu What's the other for Patwari? Jo bhi, you know, ban kebab wagara. Jo bhi hai. So, you know, I mean, they are, they are in a, what do you call it? They are sort of, I mean, there's nothing but social hazing each other, right? And um, if you're going to be a judge in your own case, you're going to want to, to, to do more and more of that. It can also happen in other instances where um, you don't have an impartial judge, but you have, let's say, somebody, uh, uh, on social media, um, some famous person is attacked on social media, but you already have a prejudice against that famous person. Let's say, for example, that famous person is black, and you're in white America, and you're resentful of the fact that uh, Michael Jackson has become so popular uh, being a black person. Um, there was, in fact, an FBI did an investigation in which they said that it is likely that Michael Jackson may be attacked uh, because he is a very prominent black individual and because there is the existence of racism in the United States of America, therefore we fear that Michael Jackson may be attacked, his reputation may be attacked and so on and so forth. Uh, and so they did an in entire investigation on that. And um, were the cases against Michael Jackson uh, for child abuse and so on, which were never proven in court, but there was an out of court settlement. But that doesn't mean he is necessarily guilty. Maybe he just wanted to stay out of court and so on. Um, does that, you know, did he do it? Did he not do it? We really don't know. Um, but uh, the, 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 the possibility also exists that uh, when you are extremely famous and extremely rich, that somebody may try to frame you because they think they can get money out of that. That also happens, right? They may try to frame you or they may try and accuse you because the result of the publicity may in turn make you a public figure and that may be very good for you. So such things can happen and do happen all the time with, um, with uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, celebrities. And celebrities know about it, which is why they become very careful about their privacy and about who they interact with and who they don't interact with. So um, how do we solve this problem, asks John Locke. Civil government is the proper remedy for the inconvenience of the state of nature, which must certainly be great where men may be judges in their own cases. Absolute monarchs are but men where one man commanding a multitude has the liberty to be judge in his own case and may do all his subjects whatever he pleases without the least question or control of those who execute his pleasure. So monarchy is a very bad situation, says John Locke, because in a monarchy, the monarch has complete control and his word is the law. And so in any political situation, he becomes the sole judge, jury, and executioner. And out of self-love, the monarch um, will not necessarily, somebody asked this question the other day, why would the monarch, according to Hobbes, not fall into the trap of doing things that are only beneficial to the monarch? So that's exactly Locke's argument, that a monarch who's completely unchecked, there is no check and balance on him, out of self-love will always think that my policy is okay, whether the Asian Development Bank says that the next year Pakistan's economy growth will slow down to 2.8% will be slowed down. It's good for you all. But then the monarch will say that my Moashi policy is okay, but the rest of the Moashi policy is wrong, even if all evidence points in the opposite direction. Why? We can't help it. Self-love biases us always to side with ourselves. Think about your own self. That someone has been punished for you, but you have to have a lot of time to accept that punishment. Or yeah, think about politics as a whole. India and Pakistan had a debate in the United Nations. Pakistan was punished for India, and the 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 Pakistan was punished for India. تنقید انڈیا نے پھر پاکستان پہ کی اگر آپ نے وہ سنی ہو تو اس میں چند باتیں سے میں بالکل اتفاق نہیں کرتا مگر اس میں بھی بہت ساری باتیں ایسے تھیں جس کے بارے میں سوچنا پڑے گا اور کہنا پڑے گا کہ یار شاید یہ باتیں درست ہوں کسی دوسرے پر تنقید کرنا ہمیشہ زیادہ آسان ہے 
اپنے آپ پہ تنقید کرنا ہمیشہ زیادہ مشکل ہے دس گوز فار اے کنٹری دس گوز فار کمیونٹی اینڈ دس گوز فار دی انڈیویجول ایز ویل وائی ڈز دیٹ ہیپن جان لاک ٹیلز ایس اٹ سیلف لو سو از دا اسٹیٹ آف نیچر ریئل All princes and rulers of independent governments are in a state of nature in the sense that the international relations is like in a state of nature. But only a compact of agreeing together mutually to enter into one community and make one body politic uh, makes man free uh, from the state of nature. So what we decide is we're going to come together and we are going to make a government and the purpose of government is that you need to have a neutral judge. Somebody needs to judge a case that is not interested in that case one way or another. They are not your friend. There is no conflict of interest. They are not pre-programmed to think because of the color of their skin or because of their gender or because of their uh, uh, race or nationality or language. This is what justice ka symbol is. That justice is blind. It doesn't look at who you are. It only weighs the evidence in your favor or against you. And it is supposed to make that judgment impartially without prejudice to against you or prejudice in your favor and that idea is very much the idea of John Locke. Locke ye hai ke, uh, but he proceeds from there he says we have to understand the principle of property what is property this has to be understood very clearly he says the earth was given to mankind in common Khuda Ta'ala ne hume zameen jo di aur ye, uh, ye jo, um, uh, کائنات جو جس کے اندر ہم رہ رہے ہیں یہ کسی ایک فرد کو تو نہیں دی یا آپ جب پیدا ہوئی تھی تو آپ کے اوپر کوئی ساتھ سرٹیفکیٹ تو نہیں تھا جو آپ نے ساتھ ہی باہر نکالا ہوگا ڈاکٹر صاحب یہ میری زمینیں ہوں گی یہ میری جائیداد ہوگی نو سچ تھنگ ہیپن رائٹ آل دا فروٹس آف نیچر بلانگ ٹو مین کائنڈ ان کامن سیز جان لاک جو کچھ بھی قدرت سے ہمیں ملتا ہے وہ تمام انسانوں کے لیے ہے کسی انسان کی اس پہ اجارہ دری خدا کی طرف سے نہیں ہے گاڈ ہیز گیون مین ریزن ٹو میک یوز آف دی ارتھ ٹو دا بیسٹ ایڈوانٹیج آف لائف اینڈ کنوینئنس آپ کو عقل خدا تعالیٰ نے دی ہے کس مقصد کے لیے اس مقصد کے لیے کہ آپ اس زندگی میں اپنی زندگی بہتر کریں ایوری مین ہیز پراپرٹی ان از اون پرسن تو سب سے پہلے آپ کا وہ جو فیمنسٹ کہتے ہیں نا میرا جسم میری مرضی دیٹس ایکچولی پری بیڈ ٹرانسلیشن آف مائی باڈی مائی ول بٹ بینگ دیٹ ایز اٹ می فرسٹ اینڈ فار موسٹ یو ہیو یور اون سیلف یو ہیو یور اون باڈی یور مائنڈ ایکسیٹرا اینڈ دیٹ بائی گاڈ بلانگس اونلی ٹو یو مے بی بائی ہیومن ایکشنز یو بیکم ان سلیو ٹو ادرس بٹ گاڈ ڈیڈن کریٹ دی انسٹیٹیوشن آف سلیوری وین یو ور بورن ان ٹو دس ورلڈ یو ور بورن فری سو دیٹ مینس دیٹ ایوری مین وومن has property in his own person. The labor of his body and the work of his hands, we may say, are properly his or her. Jo aap apne haathon se mehnat karte hain, wo aap hi ki hai, mehnat hai. Whatever then he removes out of the state that nature had provided and left in, he had mixed his labor with and joined to it something that is his own and thereby makes it his property. Jab aap kudrat se koi cheez jo hai, jab aap kudrat se koi cheez nikalte hain, kudrat ke سے کوئی چیز ڈیولپ کرتے ہیں پھل جو ہے درختوں سے اتارتے ہیں جو زمین ہے اس کی کاشتکاری کرتے ہیں تو آپ اپنا خون پسینہ جو ہے اس مٹی کے اندر ملا رہے ہیں آپ اپنی محنت اس مٹی کے اندر ملا رہے ہیں اور جب آپ اپنی کوئی چیز اس مٹی کے اندر ملا رہے ہیں تو اس چیز سے جو چیز پیدا ہو رہی ہے وہ آپ کی ہونی چاہیے کیوں آپ کی ہونی چاہیے کیونکہ آپ کی محنت سے وہ چیز بنی ہے اٹ از فرام یور لیبر اینڈ فرام دا مکسنگ آف یور لیبر ود واٹ ایگزٹ ان نیچر دیٹ دیٹ تھنگ از بین کریٹیڈ ہینس دیٹ تھنگ آٹ ٹو بلانگ ٹو یو ہی سیز لیبر اف دا فرسٹ گیدرنگ میک دیم ناٹ ہیز nothing else could jab aapne koi aam ikattha kiya koi fruit ikattha kiya aap darakht pe chade aapne wahan se ja ke pluck karke aap niche leke aaye to kiska hona chahiye ye mera dost kya naam tha aapka tasmeer tasmeer kehta hai nahi sir mujhe nahi parwa ke aap darakht pe chad ke ye aam leke aaye ye aam mera hona chahiye meetha hai mujhe bada pasand hai magar aap sab kahenge nahi yaar tasmeer bhai ye yaar koi fair baat nahi hai bechare sar chade the darakht pe gir bhi sakte the haddi bhi toot sakti thi itni mushkil se ja ke unhone aam jo hai pakda hai yaar tu ja ke khud apna aam pakad le wo tera hoga agar ha voluntarily sir tujhe aam de den to wo unki marzi hai magar tujhe cheen ke nahi lena chahiye zabardasti nahi lena chahiye ye unhi ka aam banta hai so that's what lock is saying 
लेबर पुट अ डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन देम एंड दैट विच वॉज कॉमन यानी जब जिस चीज़ पर मैंने अपनी मेहनत की है अब वो चीज़ मेरी होनी चाहिए अब वो कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी नहीं है पहले खुदा तला ने हर चीज़ कॉमन में बनाई है वो दरिया वो दरख्त वो खूबसूरत पहाड़ वो नदियाँ वो वादियाँ जहाँ पर आप कहते हैं तेरी वादी वादी घूमूँ तेरा कोना कोना चूमूँ वो सब खुदा तला ने आप सब के लिए कॉमन में बनाई है मगर जब उसके अंदर कोई किसी दरख्त में किसी जगह पर आप अपने आप लेबर ऐड करते हैं तो फिर वो चीज़ आपकी बन जानी चाहिए वो फिर कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी नहीं रहती उस पर फिर आपका हक हो जाता है हिज लेबर हैज टेकन इट आउट ऑफ द हैंड्स ऑफ नेचर वेर इट वॉज कॉमन एंड बिलोंग इक्वली टू ऑल अर चिल्ड्रन एंड एज देर बाय अप्रोप्रिएटेड इट टू हिमसेल्फ तो उसकी मेहनत की वजह से वो उसकी बन गई बट देर आज देर आर लिमिट्स ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी और ये भी नेचुरल लॉ से निकलते हैं खुदा तला के कानून या कुदरत के कानून से बात निकलती है नथिंग वॉज मेड बाई गॉड फॉर मैन टू स्पॉयल और डिस्ट्रॉय अगर आप किसी चीज़ पर ऐसी मेहनत कर रहे हैं जिसके नतीजे में वो चीज़ तबाह और बर्बाद हो रही है तो दैट वुड नॉट बी अ गुड थिंग वी वुड इवन कंसिडर दैट टू बी मेहनत वी वुड कंसिडर दैट टू बी अ डिस्ट्रक्टिव एक्ट इफ समबडी इज गोइंग एंड कटिंग डाउन अ ट्री नॉट फॉर एनी productive reason or burning you know crops or burning land or burning you know forests etc not for any productive but for just just for fun then everybody will say say ki yaar kya kar rahe ho kyun ye qudrat ki khoobsurat cheeze hain jo hai wo tabaah barbaad kar rahe ho inko inka khayal karo so god didn't make all of these ye jo nemte khuda taala ne di hain ye is maqsad ke liye to nahi di ki aap unko tabaah barbaad kar dein environmentalists of course that is their argument that we have been destroying nature we have not been taking care of nature as much land as a man tills plants improves cultivates and can use the product of so much ought to be his property he says is his property he by his labor does as it were enclose it from the common so if i say ki ye sari zameen ye 25 murabbe zameen meri hai magar 25 मुरबे ज़मीन पे मैं क्लेम तो कर लेता हूँ मगर उसमें सिर्फ सिर्फ 10 मुरबे ज़मीन जो है मैं यूज़फुली इस्तेमाल करता हूँ बाकी 15 मुरबे हैं भी पढ़े हुए हैं उनका मैं कुछ कर ही नहीं पा रहा हूँ वेस्ट हो रहे हैं वो तो व्हाट वुड जॉन लॉक से ही वुड से कि दैट लैंड वॉज नॉट मेड बाय गॉड यू डेंट एड योर लेबर इन इट एंड दैट लैंड वॉज नॉट मेड बाई गॉड टू बी वेस्ट सो दे यू नो यू शुड नॉट consider it your property because you have failed to mix your labor into it and you have failed to use it productively god had commanded man to labor and the penury of his condition required it of him penury ka matlab hota hai the poverty of his condition okay we come into this world we are need food clothing and shelter he that subdued tilled and sowed any part thereby annexed to it something that was his property which another had no title to nor could without injury take from him अगर मैंने किसी चीज पे मेहनत की तो वो मेरी बन जाती है वही बात दोबारा नाउ दिस क्रिएट्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ पॉलिटिकल सोसाइटी द स्टेट इन द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर मेन आर फ्री इक्वल एंड इंडिपेंडेंट एंड इट इज ओनली बाय कंसेंट दैट वी ऑल अग्री टू क्रिएट ए पॉलिटिकल सोसाइटी दैट मींस वी एग्री टू क्रिएट अ स्टेट सिंस द पॉलिटिकल कम्युनिटी इज वन बॉडी मेड ऑफ कंसेंट it is necessary the body should move that way whether the greater force carries it which is the consent of the majority kyunki hamare aapas ke consent se hamare aapas ke ittefaq se humne riyasat banayi kyun banayi riyasat is maqsad ke liye banayi ke bhai in the state of nature there is a problem the problem is ke apne case mein we will not be very good judges we need an impartial person an impartial authority to judge in any given dispute between us so we create by consent we say okay we are going to create an institution that is going to judge and arbitrate between us and that is going to be our political society magar kyunki humne apne ittefaq se wo cheez banayi hai kisi ne hum pe force nahi kiya hum uske author hain by social contract humne agree kiya therefore the condition also remains कि जो भी वो कानून बनाए वो कानून भी हमारे इतफाक से हमारे कंसेंट से ही बने जिससे उसकी मुराद ये है कि मजॉरिटी ओपिनियन ऑट टू बी ऑट टू कैरी द वेट माइनॉरिटी ओपिनियन की बात नहीं सुनी जाए मजॉरिटी इज अथॉरिटी अगर अक्सरियत ये कहती है कि चोरी करना डाका डालना जो है वो जुल्म ज्यादी है तो फिर वही कानून होना चाहिए the act of the majority passes for the act of the whole ye bhi nahi ki agar 70% log ye kehte hain 
کہ جی چوری کرنا بری بات ہے تیس فیصد لوگ کہتے ہیں کہ چوری کرنا بری بات نہیں ہے تو یہ نہیں ہوگا کہ ستر فیصد لوگوں کے لیے چوری کرنا بری بات ہوگی اور تیس فیصد لوگوں نے کیونکہ اپروو ہی نہیں کیا تو ان کے لیے بری بات نہیں ہوگی سب کے لیے پھر وہ بری بات ہوگی جو میجورٹی کا ویو بنے گا وہ پھر سوسائٹی کا اوور آل ویو بن جائے گا سو دی وی کم اپ دی آئیڈیا آف میجورٹی رول ہو سو ایور یونائٹس ان ٹو کمیونٹی مسٹ گیو اپ آل دا پاور نیسیسری ٹو دی اینڈس فار وچ دے یونائٹ ان ٹو سوسائٹی ٹو دا میجورٹی آف دا کمیونٹی ان لیس دے ایکسپریسلی اگریڈ ان اینی نمبر گریٹر دین دا میجورٹی دی سیز جب ہم ایک کمیونٹی بناتے ہیں کنسینٹ کی بنیاد پہ تو جو ہمارے جو میجورٹی ہے اسی کا اوپینین جو ہے وہ کمیونٹی کا اوپینین ہوگا مگر اس پہ بھی اعتراض کیا جا سکتا ہے اور خاص طور پہ دو اعتراضات کیے جا سکتے ہیں بٹ ہیز گورنمنٹ ایور بین سیٹ اپ دس وے کیا حکومتیں واقعی اس طرح بنی ہم نے تو یہ دیکھا کہ جنگ کے نتیجے میں بنی اور طرح سے بنی مین آر بورن دوسرا آبجیکشن یہ ہو سکتا ہے کہ مین آر بورن انڈر دا پری ایگزٹنگ گورنمنٹ اینڈ ڈو ناٹ ہیو دا لبرٹی ٹو بگن اے نیو ون مطلب آپ نے کوئی جب آپ اٹھارہ سال کے ہوئے ہوئی آپ تو آپ سے کسی نے یہ تو نہیں پوچھا ڈو یو اپروو دا کانسٹیٹیوشن آف پاکستان یہ پورا آئین پڑھ لیں یہ قانون پڑھ لیں یہ پی ایل او پورا قانون پڑھ لیں کیا آپ اپروو کرتے ہیں کسی نے آپ سے نہیں پوچھا آپ اس ملک میں پیدا ہو گئیں اور بس ملک کا قانون تھا اور آپ کو فالو کرنا پڑا تو پھر اس کے بارے میں کیا کہتا ہے لا کہتا ہے انڈیویجولس ان دا کامن ویلتھ آر اگنورنٹ آف دیئر اون برتھ ان انفینسی پہلی بات تو یہ کہ آپ کو پتہ ہی نہیں آپ کا آپ کی سوسائٹی اور جو پولیٹیکل اسٹیٹ ہے وہ کیسے بنا آل گورنمنٹس بگن ود دا سوشل کانٹریکٹ ایون دو سم ٹائمس گورنمنٹس وائلیٹ دیٹ سوشل کانٹریکٹ مگر شروعات ہر حکومت کی ایک سماجی معاہدے سے ہی ہوتی ہے پولیٹیکل سوسائٹیز آل بگین فرام اے والنٹری یونین اینڈ اے میوچل اگریمنٹ آف مین فریلی ایکٹنگ ان دیئر چوائس اینڈ دیئر گورنرز اینڈ فارمس آف گورنمنٹ So if you go back into time, you will discover that for every given society, John Locke says, the state began as a voluntary contract. And secondly, men are naturally free. Government, governments are created by the consent of the people. So yes, it's true that nobody asked you individually whether you want this or that particular law. But your beginning, the beginning of your society, was a consent of the people. And this brings us to the idea of the sufficient declaration of consent. There is what he says, tacit consent. You may not have given your explicit consent. You may not have said, Ki, yes, I approve of all the laws of the government of Pakistan. But whosoever, by inheritance, purchases, permission or otherwise, enjoys any part of the land so annexed to, and under the government of that commonwealth, must take it with the condition it is under, that is, of submitting to the government of the commonwealth, under whose jurisdiction it is as far forth as any subject of it. Look, when you were born, you didn't read the law, you didn't read the law and the constitution, but you inherited something, you inherited something, you inherited something, آپ نے جو فیسلٹیز گورنمنٹ نے آپ کو بنا کے دی وہ آپ بچپن سے اچھی ہوں یا بری ہوں وہ آپ بچپن سے ان کو استعمال تو کر رہے ہیں اور بیکاز آپ ان چیزوں کو استعمال کر رہے ہیں اور اس ان قوانین کی وجہ سے آپ ان کو استعمال کرنے میں کامیاب ہیں اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ آپ نے چاہے ایکسپلیسٹلی تو کنسینٹ نہیں دی مگر ٹیسٹلی آپ نے اپنی کنسینٹ دے دی ہے اگر آپ کو وہ چیزیں وہ قانون قبول نہیں تھے تو پھر آپ کو ان قوانین کے نتیجے میں جو فوائد تھے وہ بھی نہیں اٹھانے چاہیے تھے جو جب آپ نے اس سوسائٹی میں رہ کے ان چیزوں کا فائدہ اٹھایا جو اس ریاست نے آپ کو دی تو آپ نے ٹیسٹلی جان لاک سیز اس ریاست اس قانون کو کنسینٹ دے دی اپنی سو اف اے مین سیٹس اے سائڈ از پوزیشنس اگر آپ سمجھتے ہیں کہ جی میں کنسینٹ نہیں دینا چاہتا پاکستان کے آئین کو میں اس آئین کو درست نہیں سمجھتا تو آپ کو کیا کرنے کی ضرورت ہے کہتا ہے اف اے مین سیٹس اے سائڈ از پوزیشنس ہی از ایٹ لبرٹی ٹو گو اینڈ انکوپوریٹ ہم سیلف ان ٹو اینی ادر کامن ویلتھ اور اگری ود ادرس ٹو بگن اے نیو ون ان اینی پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ دے کین فائنڈ فری اینڈ ان پوزیسڈ آپ اپنی جائیداد چھوڑ دیں اپنی پراپرٹی چھوڑ دیں اور کہیں دیکھیں جی مجھے پاکستان کا قانون نہیں پسند مجھے پاکستان ہونا پاکستانی ہونا نہیں پسند مجھے پاکستان کا آئین نہیں پسند یا انڈیا کا جہاں بھی آپ پیدا ہوئے ہیں تو ٹھیک ہے لاک کہتا ہے کہ آپ کے پاس یہ رائٹ ہے آپ اپنی جائیداد ساری چھوڑ دیں اور آپ چلے جائیں کیونکہ وہ جائیداد وہ پراپرٹی 
आपको मिली ही एक सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के नतीजे में वो ना होता तो वो आप कब, वो आपकी कभी प्रॉपर्टी हो ही नहीं सकती थी राइट सो यू कैन लीव योर पोजेशन एंड देन येस यू आर फ्री टू गो एंड मेक अ सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आई दर विद अदर गवर्नमेंट यू कैन से आई वॉन्ट टू बी सिटीजन ऑफ कैनेडा और यू कैन इवन स्टार्ट यूर ओन गवर्नमेंट ऑन सम प्लेस विद सम फ्रेंड्स जहाँ पे कोई कोई uh, पहले बंदा नहीं रहता तो ये आपकी मर्जी बट द प्री कंडीशन फॉर दैट इज कि वो आसाइश जो कि आपको वो प्रिवलेज uh, वो चीज़ें वो पोजेशन वो तमाम हकूक वगैरह वो तमाम चीज़ें जो आपको इस पर्टिकुलर सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के नतीजे में मिली हैं उनको उनसे आपको दस्तरदार होना पड़ेगा उनको आपको यू हैव टू गिव अप ऑन दो थिंग्स so in this way consent must be positive engagement and express promise and compact in other words uh, john lock wants us to have a positive engagement with your social contract you should know the law should participate in the law as the major, you know as he says the majority opinion becomes the law and therefore um uh, you must participate in the act of governance to make laws to build laws to develop laws to move laws forward he wants not he doesn't want you to be passive citizens and just sit at home and say yes the law exists i can't do anything about it but you are the author of the law and you can change the law you can change the social contract if the majority of people agree with you a society that is misgoverned may then uh, may not then be able to sustain uh, if the state is not really a neutral arbiter the way john lock envisions it if it is unable to protect the life and property of people if it is unable to to fulfill its purpose then you will get a situation uh, if it is not driven by the consent of the majority but becomes the the preserve of a of a super rich elite as is depicted in the movie right so then the situ a situation may emerge that that state will not enjoy any kind of real legitimacy but will become a symbol of hatred and that's that's not what lock wants at all he wants the state he thinks that the purpose of government is to create peace to create safety and to create the public good for people and we know this right we 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 talk about this all the time in governance and politics and when we talk about good governance we say the state is supposed to be a neutral arbiter it's supposed to create peace and safety and the public good etc so he looks at the various forms of state that exist in his time there is perfect democracy he says oligarchy not just in his time but in history the perfect democracy oligarchy hereditary monarchy elective monarchy and mixed forms of government and he says by commonwealth i must be understood all along to me not a democracy or any form of government but any independent community which the latin signified by the word civitas to which the word best answers in our language is commonwealth and most properly expresses such a society of men which community does not for they may be subordinate communities in a government and city much less so uh, locke and kant and many others writing in this period distinguish between democracy and a republic and their main argument is for a republic a society ruled by uh, by the law what would be the powers of the commonwealth the supreme power is of course first and foremost to legislate there remains in the people the supreme power to remove or alter the legislative when they find the legislative act contrary to the trust reposed in them in other words you should be able to remove the government if the government is not doing what you wanted it to do thus the community perpetually retains a supreme power power to the people the people really have ought to have power in this sort of situation but this power of the people can never take place till the government be dissolved while the government is is present you cannot exercise that power but you can change the the government through elections etc in order that it may act in your interest if all of this sounds awfully familiar to you it sounds really really familiar to to you because this is the way the this is the mainstream theory about how government should function you've all heard this before right it's nothing there's nothing really fundamentally new to <coughs> that i'm saying over here i think um and that's because lock it that shows you how influential lock has Ha is in the modern world because before he comes about that's this is not the conception of government allegiance is nothing but obedience according to law which when he violates he has no right to obedience if the state follows the law if the government follows the law 
you are required to be obedient to the law. But if the government does not follow the law, then that is the end of obedience. He has no will, no power, but that of the law. That means the sovereign has no will or power except the will of and power given to him by the law. Now this makes, this means that executive power is not unchecked as it is in Thomas Hobbes. The executive has a share in legislative power but is visibly subordinate and accountable to it and may be at pleasure changed and displaced. So the executive of the state, that is the prime minister or president depending on what kind of system you have, is subordinate to the legislature. The legislature makes a law, the executive implements that but the executive is always subordinate to the legislature and if the legislature, the parliament feels that the prime minister is not doing what the parliament has asked it to do, the parliament can change the prime minister. If you feel that you made a prime minister, the prime minister is not doing what you want him to do, what he has been asked to do by the law, the legislature has the right to change the prime minister. Using force upon the people without authority and contrary to the trust put in him that does so is a state of war with the people who have a right to reinstate the legislature, legislative in the exercise of their power. The use of force without authority always puts him that uses it into a state of war as the aggressor and renders them liable to be treated accordingly. In other words, if you overthrow the constitution of Pakistan, if you overthrow the legislature, you tell it to go home, Miss, uh, you are a military dictator, you have taken, you have taken uh, government by force of arms, then you have in fact declared war against society. You are the rebel, you have broken the law and for breaking the law, you are liable to be punished. This is very radical stuff people. Um, because once you have a law, you have a constitution, it means that anybody who violates the constitution is committing treason and can be punished accordingly. The power of assembling and dismissing the legislature does not give the executive a superiority over it, but is the trust placed in him for the safety of the people in a case where the uncertainty and variableness of human affairs could not bear a steady fixed rule. So in other words, yes, the executive has the, you know, calls the parliament to session and so on and so forth, but he has no power to dismiss the parliament, to send the parliament back home. In Pakistan there, you can see that we have done this many, many times, sent prime ministers, we've had 27 prime ministers, and um, I'm not sure whether there's any prime minister that has managed even to complete their term. We want fair and equal representation also, says Thomas Hobbes. It is in the interest of the people to have fair and equal representation. Things of this world are in constant flux. Representation becomes very unequal and disproportionate. The people must be represented in proportion and the executive must ensure the rectification of any disorder. In other words, from any given constituency, um, if there are X number of people, then they ought to be an equal number or a proportionate number rather of representatives of those people. Ye nahi hona chahiye ke Karachi mein das log hain, to wo un das logon ke saw legislatures ho, aur kisi pure Balochistan ka ek legislature ho, that would not be fair, right? The numbers have to add up, they have to be equal. Um, how can the government be dissolved? It can be dissolved obviously by foreign conquest, that means ke wo, you know, it's been taken over by somebody, some other government. When anyone or more shall take upon them to make laws whom the people have not appointed so to do. Agar koi aisa banda khada ho jata hai kehta hai ki mein ek kanun banaunga jisko ke logon ne elect nahi kiya jo logon ka numainda nahi hai to that means government is actually dissolved. Um, they make laws without authority which the people are not therefore bound to obey. Agar kisi ne vote leke wo nahi aaya तो उसके पास अथॉरिटी नहीं है कानून बनाने की और आप अगर उस कानून को नहीं फॉलो करते तो इसमें कोई आपकी बुराई नहीं क्योंकि आपने उसको ये राइट ही नहीं दिया था कि वो कानून बनाए द पीपल मे कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ न्यू लेजिस्लेटिव एंड रेजिस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ दोज हु विदाउट अथॉरिटी वुड इम्पोज एनी थिंग अपॉन दैम आपके पास ये भी हक है कि आप नई पार्लियामेंट बना लें आप कहें ये तो किसी मिलिट्री डिक्टेटर की पार्लियामेंट है किसी बादशाह की पार्लियामेंट है हम इसको कबूल ही नहीं करते ये हमारी नुमाइंदा है ही नहीं if a single person or prince sets up his own authority as arbitrary will in place of the laws which are the will of society. 
سو اگر پرنس یا ہیڈ آف اسٹیٹ کوئی اپنا قانون بنا لے جو کہ لیجسلیٹو سے اپروو نہیں ہے وہ بھی نہیں قابل قبول اف دا پرنس ہنڈرز دا لیجسلیٹو فرام اسمبلنگ ان ڈیو ٹائم اور فرام ایکٹنگ فریلی پرسون ٹو دوز اینڈس فار وچ اٹ واز کانسٹیٹیوٹیڈ اگر پرائم منسٹر پرنس پریزیڈنٹ ملٹری ڈکٹیٹر جو ہے وہ پارلیمنٹ کو بیٹھنے نہ دے سیشن نہ کرنے دے تو پھر بھی اس نے وائلیٹ کیا ہے پارلیمنٹ کا سیشن جو ہے وہ اتنا ضروری ہے اف دی الیکٹرز اور وے آف الیکشنز آر آلٹرڈ ود آؤٹ دا کنسینٹ اینڈ کانٹری ٹو دا کامن انٹرسٹ آف دا پیپل اگر الیکشن کا قانون جو ہے وہ لوگوں کے رائے کے سے سے اختلاف کرتے ہوئے تجاوز کرتے ہوئے ان کے جو انہوں نے مینڈیٹ دیا ہے اس کے خلاف جاتے ہوئے الیکشنز کے قانون تبدیل کر دیے جائیں تو بھی اس کا مطلب ہے گورنمنٹ از ٹیکنیکلی ڈیزارڈ اف دا پیپل آر ڈلیور فرام سبجیکشن آف فارون پاور اف دی ایگزیکٹو پاور نگلیکٹس اینڈ ایمبینڈنس دیٹ چارج سو دیٹ دا لاس کے نو لانگر بی پٹ ان ایگزیکیوشن جہاں پہ قانون کی پاسداری نہیں کی جا رہی قانون کو بے نہیں کیا جا رہا ایگزیکٹو جو ہے وہ قانون کو نافذ ہی نہیں کر رہا وہاں پہ بھی گورنمنٹ ہیز ٹیکنیکلی بروکن ڈاؤن When the legislative or the prince acts contrary to the trust of the people, جو ہم نے اعتماد ان کو دیا اس کے خلاف وہ چلنا شروع کر دیں تب بھی ڈیزالو ہے اف دے انویڈ دا پراپرٹی آف دا سبجیکٹ اینڈ میک دم سیلس ماسٹر آف دا لائف لبرٹیز اینڈ فارچونس آف دا پیپل اگر وہ ناجائز طریقے سے آپ کی جائیداد پہ قابو پا لیں آپ کو غلام بنا لیں آپ پہ قابو پا لیں تو یہ قطعی طور پہ قابل قبول نہیں وین ایور دا لیجسلیچرس ان ڈیور ٹو ٹیک اوے اینڈ ڈسٹروائے دا پراپرٹی آف دا پیپل اور ٹو ریڈیوس دیم ٹو سلیوری انڈر آربٹری پاور دے پٹ دیم سیلس into a state of war with the people who are thereupon absolved from any further obedience phir aapke poor ye koi mandate nahi hai ki aap unki baat qabool kare agar wo aapki najaiz tarike se aapki property ko chheen rahe aapko ghulam banane ki koshish kar rahe if the executive power employs force treasure and offices of the society to corrupt the representatives and gain them to his purpose agar wo legislature ko corrupt kare agar wo legislature ko buy off kare forcefully uske sath koi uska opinion change karne ki koshish kare aur openly pre engages the electors and prescribes to the choice such whom he has by solicitations threats promises or otherwise one to his design and employ them to bring in such were promised beforehand what to vote and what to enact اگر وہ الیکشن کے پروسیس میں پہلے ہی وہ کینڈیڈیٹس فیل کرے فیلڈ کرے اور باقی کینڈیڈیٹس کو ایلیمنیٹ کر دے جو اس کے من پسند کے کینڈیڈیٹس ہوں اور وہ الیکشن کے پروسیس کو فری اینڈ فیئر الیکشن ہونے نہ دے تب بھی وہ گورنمنٹ لیجیٹمیٹ نہیں سمجھی جاتی لوگ پوچھ رہے ہیں اسے کہ سرکار یہ تو آپ نے تھامس ہابس نے تو ہمیں کوئی حق ہی نہیں دیا تھا ریپیل کرنے کا تھامس ہابس تو یہ کہتا تھا کہ موت کے جب کٹہرے میں کھڑے ہو گئے تب شاید تمہارے پاس یہ حق ہو کہ تم حکومت کی بات نہ قبول کرو مگر آپ نے تو بڑی لمبی فہرست بنا دی ہے جس جو بڑی ہمیں پسند بھی شاید آپ کو آ رہی ہو اگر مگر آن دا ون ہینڈ آپ کو پسند آ رہی ہے مگر آن دی ادر ہینڈ آپ یہ سوال بھی پوچھیں گے تو سر اس طرح تو ہر وقت ہی لوگ جو ہیں وہ یو نو انقلاب انقلاب کرتے کوکتے پھریں گے تو لا کیا جواب دیتا ہے گریٹ مسٹیکس ان دا رولنگ پارٹ مینی لانگ اینڈ انکنوینٹ لاز اینڈ آل دا سلپس آف ہیومن فریلٹی ول بی بورن بائی دا پیپل ود آؤٹ میوٹنی اور ماما ان ادر ورڈس حکومتیں اکثر بہت اس طرح کی حرکتیں کرتی ہیں مگر لوگ جو ہے نا صبر سے کہتے کہتے رہتے نہیں نہیں ٹھیک ہے ابھی چانس دو ابھی تو صرف ایک سال ہوا ہے کوئی مسئلہ نہیں ہے وغیرہ وغیرہ مین بائی اینٹرنگ ان ٹو سوسائٹی اینڈ سول گورنمنٹ ہیو ایکسکلوڈیڈ فورس اینڈ انٹروڈیوس لاز فار دا پریزرویشن آف پراپرٹی پیس اینڈ یونیٹی امنگس دم سیلس دوز سیٹ اپ فورس اگین ان اپوزیشن ٹو دا لاز ڈو ریبیل دیٹ از برنگ بیک اگین دا اسٹیٹ آف وار اینڈ وی آر دا رائٹ دیئر فار دے اٹس ناٹ دیٹ وی آر دا ریبلس ہی سیز وی آر ناٹ ریبلنگ اگینسٹ دا اسٹیٹ دے آر دا ریبلس بیکاز ہم نے ایک قانون بنایا تھا ایک سسٹم بنایا تھا اور انہوں نے اس پورے سسٹم کو اپنے بٹوں تلے روند دیا ہے تو ریبل ہم کم سے ہوئے ہم تو سسٹم کو ریسٹور کر رہے ہیں وہ قانون جو ہم نے بنایا تھا اپنے کنسینٹ سے اس کو ریسٹور کر رہے ہیں دے در انٹروڈیوس اے پاور وچ دا پیپل ہیز ناٹ آتھرائزڈ ایکچولی انٹروڈیوس اے اسٹیٹ آف وار انہوں نے ہمارے خلاف جنگ کر دی ہے اف اینی مسچیف کم ان سچ کیسز اگر اس کے نتیجے میں کوئی خون خرابہ ہوا اٹ از ناٹ ٹو بی چارج اپن ہم ہو ڈیفینس ہز اون رائٹ بٹ آن ہم دیٹ انویڈز ہز نیبر 
بھئی اگر اس نے قانون توڑا ہے کسی ملٹری ڈکٹیٹر نے اور اس کے نتیجے میں فساد ہوا ہے کہیں پہ سوسائیٹی میں اور لوگوں کی جان ممال کو خطرہ ہوا یا پیپل گوٹ بیٹن اپ اور ڈائیڈ ایکسیٹرہ کس پہ ذمہ داری آتی ہے عوام پہ ذمہ داری نہیں آتی ذمہ داری اس ملٹری ڈکٹیٹر پہ آتی ہے اس یوزر پہ آتی ہے یا اس پرنس پہ آتی ہے یا اس بندے پہ آتی ہے کہ جس نے قانون اور آئین توڑ کے جو ہے وہ قبضہ کیا ہے the end of government is the good of mankind end se murad ye the purpose of government is the good of mankind the rulers should be sometimes liable to be opposed when they grow exorbitant in the use of their power and employ it for the destruction and not the preservation of the properties of the people aap keh rahe the thodi si anarchy bhi honi chahiye achhi baat hai lock bhi ye keh raha hai ki ha agar hukumatein jo hain wo corrupt ho jaye وہ ریپرزینٹیو گورنمنٹس نہ ہوں وہ میجورٹی کی ول کو پروو نہ کریں وہ لوٹ گسوٹ کی حکومتیں بن جائیں وہ قانون کی پاسداری نہ کریں وہ فورس استعمال کریں آپ کو انسلیو کریں آپ کی پراپرٹیز اور زندگیوں کو محفوظ کرنے کے بجائے آپ کو غیر محفوظ کر دیں تو ایسی حکومتیں یا ایسے فرد جو کہ جنہوں نے حکومتوں پہ قبضہ کر لیا ہے انہوں نے آپ کے خلاف جنگ ڈکلیئر کر دیا ہے انہوں نے آپ سوسائٹی کے خلاف ریبل کیا ہے اور you are not liable to obey their laws in fact you ought to rebel against them you ought to stand up and uh, reassert government but it is not that he's an anarchist in the sense that he doesn't want any government to exist but he wants a true representative democratic government to exist but who shall judge کون فیصلہ کرے گا کہ حکومت نے ٹھیک کیا یا نہیں ٹھیک کیا کیا واقعی وہ یوز اپ کر رہی ہے یا نہیں ہو شل جج ہی سیز دا پیپل آبویسلی عوام نے فیصلہ کرنا ہے لوگوں نے فیصلہ کرنا ہے سوسائیٹی نے فیصلہ کرنا ہے کہ یہ حکومت جو ہے وہ ٹھیک چل رہی ہے یا نہیں چل رہی فور ہو شل بی جج ویدر دا ٹرسٹیز اور ڈیپیوٹی ایکٹس ویل اکارڈنگ ٹو دا ٹرسٹ ایز ریپوزڈ ان ایم بٹ ہی who would who deputes him and must by having deputed him have still the power to discard him when he fails in his trust agar main mere khilaf koi parcha ho jaye mere khilaf koi case ho jaye aur main koi wakil karu ke bhai meri wakalat aap ja ke court mein kare aur wo meri wakalat theek na kare to mere paas ye haq to hai na ye kehne ka ke ye acha wakil nahi tha bhai jaan main isko change kar raha hu bhai thank you very much aap ghar jaye main kisi aur wakil ko lekar aa raha hu mere paas ye right hai na isi tarah aap hukumat ko bhi samjhe hukumat ko حکومت آپ کی وکیل ہے حکومت کو آپ نے ایک ڈیوٹی دی ہے ایک کام دیا ہے ایک ذمہ داری دی ہے ایک رسپونسیبلیٹی دی ہے اور رسپونسیبلیٹی یہ دی ہے ہم آپ کو ٹیکس بھی ادا کریں گے آپ کو کوئی کام نہیں کرنا ہے آپ کو کام یہ کرنا ہے کہ آپ کو ہماری جان و مال کی حفاظت کرنی ہے اور اگر آپ اس جان و مال کی اور اور قانون وہ بنانا ہے جو ہم ہمارے کنسنٹ سے بنے مجورٹی کی کنسنٹ سے بنے اگر اس کے کوئی خلاف ایکٹ ہوگا اور عوام یہ فیصلہ کرے گی اگر عوام سو نہیں رہی ہماری آپ کی طرح اگر عوام سو نہ رہی ہو تو عوام یہ فیصلہ کرے کہ اٹھو جاگو اور یہ جو حکومت حرکتیں کر رہی ہے یہ ہمارے بنائے ہوئے قانون کے خلاف ہے تو پھر عوام کے پاس یہ رائٹ ہے تو بی دا جج دا فائنل جج اباؤٹ ویدر ا گورنمنٹ از ٹرولی بینگ ریپرزینٹیو اور ناٹ اف دس بی ریزنیبل فار انڈیویجولس وائی شوڈ اٹ بی ادر وائز ان دیٹ آف دا گریٹسٹ اینڈ موسٹ امپورٹنٹ moment where the welfare of millions is concerned and also where the evil if not prevented is greater and the redress very difficult dear and dangerous jahan pe millions of logon ki wakalat ho rahi ho puri samaj ki wakalat ho rahi ho wahan to aur bhi zaruri hai ki aapke paas ye haq ho ki aap keh sakte hain nahi this person has not done a good job in representing who we are as pakistanis and ought to be replaced if the majority so agrees finally The power that every individual gave the society when he entered into it can never live up to the individual again as long as the society lasts but will always remain in the community because without this can, there can be no community, no commonwealth which is contrary to the original agreement. The final power is always with the community. It is a power that we delegate only to the government. When my, any miscarriage of those in authority, uh, this power is forfeited or at the... Um, at the determination of time set 
it reverts to society and the people have the right to act as supreme and continue the legislative in themselves or place it in a new form or new hands as they think good. If it has been given for 5 years, then after 5 years, it reverts back to the community and we will have to election and then we will give this right to someone else that they can do this right to us. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.